Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today is a watch me work video, so I hope you enjoy. I'm going to be showing you how I create this set on screen now, and I'm going to be doing a builder in a bottle overlay on my lovely client, who is also my lovely mum. So first off, I'm going to be using my Navy Pro Tools Doris cuticle tool to push back the epinichium to reveal all the dead cuticle that's riding on the nail plate. I do have links in the description box to all the products and tools I use in this video, so check that out if you want to find out where I get them. I will also leave all discount codes I have in the description box as well to save you guys some pennies. So after doing this, I'm going on to using Navy Pro Tools Ethyl Cuticle Tool and I'm using this to lift away and remove all the dead cuticle riding the nail plate and you can see it all there lifting up from the natural nail. With these tools from Navy, you really don't have to do much work. You apply light pressure to the nail and gently move the cuticle tool up and down and it very gently and really easily removes all that dead cuticle. The trick with these tools is to be so gentle and light, you really don't need much pressure with them. They are such high quality tools. Some of you guys may know if you follow me on Instagram, I am a Navy Pro Tools ambassador now. I'm so super proud to be representing this brand. I absolutely love their tools and have loved them for a long time. So now that I can represent them is so awesome. I also have a discount code for you guys, May 10, to get 10% off your orders. So that's really awesome too. Going on to the next step, I'm going to start removing the gel polish and I'm going to be using my Willow e-file kit. This is the limited edition version. The normal version looks like the photograph in the back of the kit there, they're all silver, whereas this is the limited edition set and they are all gold, they are so beautiful. So I'm going to be using the penultimate e-file bit and I'm using my Sayang K35 e-file and I'm going to be removing the gel polish. So my client has has a builder in a bottle overlay and what I'm going to do is I'm removing the gel polish and I'm also removing a majority of the bulk of the builder gel in the bottle because I'm going to be using a different colour today as my base for the design so I'm just using my e-file and bringing my e-file in downward motions not up and down because that will build up heat and just very gently removing all that gel polish and a little bit of the bulk of the overlay so I'm not touching the natural nail with this e-file bit at all this is just to remove bulk and remove the gel polish this e-file bit is my absolute favorite out of the kit the penultimate it's just amazing i use it all the time and lucy who makes these e-file kits she has very kindly given me a discount code for you guys it's isabel5 and you'll get five percent off your order across their whole website they also have hand files which i absolutely love which you'll see me use in this video too they are my favorite hand files at the moment they are awesome i will also leave discount codes i mentioned and links to products in the description box down below so you can guys can find them really easily so yeah i'm just removing all that gel polish and a little bit of the bulk and i'll be back once i'm done Going in with my hand file now, and this is the Willow hand file I was talking about. It's my favourite. It's the boomerang shape and it's 100, 180 grit. They last forever as well. They are awesome and they have this beautiful succulent illustration on it, which I think looks so awesome. I haven't seen any other files that have such a beautiful illustration on them. So I'm using this to buff the new nail growth and remove the shine. I'm also using this to gently go over and buff the whole entire nail where that old product is. You can see on the nail that there is still a little bit of builder gel left and I like to leave that there, just a tiny thin layer, just to protect that nail so that we're not over filing the natural nail. And I'm just using my file to go over and just refine and shape that free edge as well, ready to go in with gel application. 
Once I've finished filing, I'm going to cleanse off the nails with some acetone just to make sure I've removed all the dust and all the natural oils on the nail plate. And I'm just going to give you a close up. You can see here the remaining gel builder gel that I've left on the natural nails. So that is protecting the natural nail plate ready to go in with the next layer. And that is absolutely fine to you. You can leave a little bit there or you can soak it all off. So I'm using one of the new Magpie Build Me Up Builder Gels in a bottle. They have five in their range. They are absolutely gorgeous. I love the colours. But the one I've chosen to use today is called Buff. It's a really nice opaque nude colour. This is it here. It's just a perfect warm pinky nude. It's beautiful. So I'm firstly going in with a thin layer on every single nail, really working that into the nail plate. With this system, you do not need a base coat or a primer or anything like that. And what's also great about this builder gel is it's hema free, which is so awesome. And the fact that you don't need a primer or a base coat removes a step, which makes your application that bit quicker. You just need to make sure you prep the nail plate by cleansing it properly beforehand. So as you can see here, I'm just applying a thin coat of this Build Me Up Builder Gel in a bottle all over the whole entire surface of the nail, making sure I cap the free edge. And I'm going to apply that one coat to every single nail and then I'm going to cure in the lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds. Once it's come out of the lamp and finished curing, we're now going in with the next step. So we're going to be applying a slip layer. And what a slip layer is, is a thin coat of gel that allows us to place another bead, which is the builder bead, a bigger lot of gel over the whole entire surface of the nail. And by having that slip layer, as you will see here, it creates a nice flow and allows you to move the gel over the whole entire surface of the nail really really easily where you put gel gel goes if that makes sense so make sure you get your slip layer in the correct place and don't let it flood or anything like that because then your builder gel layer will follow and you don't want to end up flooding the cuticle area and anything like that because you will end up with lifting so again, I'm going to show you here, I'm just applying that slip layer first, not curing, that's really important, I'm leaving that wet, and then I'm taking a bigger bead of gel, as you can see here now, and I'm applying it around the cuticle area, around the back third, and working using the brush from the bottle, and pulling that bead down the nail. And there you have it, that's as simple as that. I'm checking it from the side, making sure I've got a nice apex and enough product over the whole entire surface of the nail. Another little tip, if you are applying this and you're not achieving such a great apex, turn the hand upside down and let gravity do its thing and let it pull the gel into a nice curve and apex, giving you the correct placement of strength and everything like that. I'm going to let you watch it again a couple of times just so you can see how I work and I'll be right back.
one thing to mention is I am working one nail at a time so the reason why I'm doing this is because if I was to do the whole hand by the time I got to the thumb the baby nail and ring finger will have bled and moved you need to make sure you're setting it one nail at a time that way the gel isn't going to go anywhere so after they've all had 60 second full cure I'm then cleansing off the sticky layer and I'm going to go in and refine my shape sometimes you don't need to do this if you've got your application down and you've created a nice shape with just applying the gel you don't need to refine you can leave the sticky layer on and go straight in with gel color or you may just want to give them a little buff but I just wanted to go in and refine my shape and just make them a little more sharp at the ends more of a pointed almond rather than a soft almond so I went in and just used my file and refined the shape Once I'm done filing, I always like to dust off the nails and then check them from my client's angle. So I turn the hand around and have a look at it from the way that my client will be seeing it to make sure I've got the shape right. There's no wonky nails or anything like that. I always get my client to check them as well. They are my second pair of eyes. So I like to get my clients to check, make sure they're 100% happy as well. And once I'm happy, I'm going to cleanse off again, remove any of that dust and then we are ready for gel polish application so i'm using all about mimi gel color from magpie beauty as well as mayday also from magpie beauty they're both their gel colors 100 percent gel formula i love magpie gel colors i'm also using this ombre brush this one was just from ebay or amazon i can't remember where i got it from but you can get them from pretty much any nail art supplier and i'm just using the two colors and very roughly blending them onto the nails i'm not covering the whole entire surface of the nail as you can see there's little patches of the base builder gel that you can still see peeking through I wanted it to be a bit of a messy ombre and I'm doing them different in every nail I'm just whacking on the color blending the two together roughly kind of wanted it to look like painters messy paint strokes and that was the look we were going for so I'm going to repeat this on every single nail varying it slightly on all of the nails and then I'll give it a full cure of 60 seconds in my lamp Once they've had a full cure, this step is really important. You need to cleanse off that sticky layer because the products we're going to be using next will require that base to have no sticky layer. So I'm gonna be using Stick It. You can get this from Nail Stamping Queen UK. And I'm just gonna be applying this in random strokes using that same ombre brush. And the reason why I use the ombre brush is because I wanted these strokes of gel to be really gappy and mismatch, kind of looking like messy paint strokes, kind of splattered as well. As you can see here, I'm just applying it really roughly. And what Stick It is, it's a foil adhesive. It's really good for doing patchiness like this and as you just saw there I used my finger to just spread the bristles out on the brush to give it a bit more of a patchy look when I was brushing on rather than a solid flood of gel on the nail because I want the foil to stick to it and be all patchy and 
beautiful like that. So I'm going over and doing that to every nail and then I will cure my lamp for 30 seconds. Every lamp will be different so I'll have a play around with that. This product is really good for doing designs like this. However, I wouldn't recommend it for doing full coverage foil nails. I recommend a foil glue adhesive for that. So I'm just doing this to every nail and curing in my lamp for 30 seconds. Then I'm going in with the Magpie Beauty Foil. It's their transfer foil and this is in the shade ED Rose. It's a beautiful coppery rose gold colour. And I'm basically just pressing it over the top where I have put the foil gel and it is sticking to it. And this is the reason why you need to cleanse off the base layer. If you hadn't cleansed off the base layer of gel colour, your foil would probably stick to the whole nail and you would lose the effect. So now on to top coat, I'm going in with two layers of top coat just to make sure I've sealed everything in and once I've applied my top coat this design is all done. I absolutely love the way this looked. I love textured style nails, they're my favourite to do. I really feel like the foil just makes this nail design pop completely, I absolutely love it. So there you have it. That's all done. I really hope you enjoyed this watch me work, found it interesting, found it helpful. I get a lot of messages asking for how to do builder in a bottle overlays, so I hope this has helped some of you guys out. If you like this style video, like watching me work on clients, let me know in the comments down below and I can get some more videos like this filmed for you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!